Korean cuisine not only focuses on attractive flavors and beautiful presentation, but also brings many nutritional values for health. The oak-grilled whole chicken dish at Yeongdongpo is the best example. The golden skin combined with delicious chicken meat creates a unique culinary experience. In particular, this dish is also supplemented with spices and herbs such as ginseng and red apples, which are very good for health. Watch today's video to discover this delicious dish. Oak grilled chicken at Yeongdangpo originates from Korean culinary culture. The technique of grilling chicken over oak charcoal has been an indispensable part of Korean cuisine for a long time. In Yeongdangpo, one of the districts of Seoul, this grilled chicken dish is known for its unique combination of traditional grilling skills and the use of oak wood to create a distinctive and delicious flavor. This dish is often popular for its rich flavor and sophistication in cooking, suitable for food lovers in this area. When choosing ingredients to prepare this dish, prioritize chickens weighing about 2 2.5 kilograms with the perfect meat ratio. In addition, when grilling chicken, you should use naturally dried oak wood to ensure safety and create a special flavor for the dish. To prepare oak grilled chicken, start by choosing medium-sized chickens and cleaning them. After purchasing, the chicken will have its feathers removed and will be washed with water. Next, use a knife to make a moderate cut in the chicken's abdomen and remove all internal organs. In particular, the red membrane inside the abdominal cavity needs to be washed to avoid affecting the flavor of the dish. After preparing the chicken, let it drain thoroughly before continuing with the next steps. Meanwhile, place the oak wood in the stove or oven and light a fire. Next, lay the chicken on its back on a flat surface and then put the ingredients into the abdominal cavity. This mixture will include soaked sticky rice, garlic, dried red apples, and ginseng. After adding all the ingredients, carefully tie the chicken's hind legs tightly so the ingredients don't fall out. Next, fix the chickens on the grill. Depending on the size of the oven, you can put four to six chickens on one skewer. It is necessary to ensure that they are securely fixed to make the chicken grilling process more convenient. Be sure to adjust the chicken wings inwards to avoid burning while grilling. When the oven is ready, put the chicken skewers in the oven and adjust the grilling speed to medium so the chicken cooks evenly. Oak grilled chicken will take about 1.5 to 2 hours to cook and will have an attractive crispy golden crust. During the grilling process, if the chicken skin becomes dry, brush a layer of oil on top to keep it moist and ensure the chicken skin does not burn. After the chicken is cooked, take it out of the oven. 
Usually, this dish can be enjoyed immediately. You just need to use scissors to cut the chicken into bite-sized pieces and then place them on a plate with the sticky rice taken from inside the chicken. If you want to change it up a bit, prepare a thick cast iron pan, spread a layer of oil, and heat it. Next, use scissors to skillfully make a cut along the chicken belly, gently taking out the sticky rice and herbs inside. Spread the sticky rice and herbs evenly on the pan, then place the whole chicken on top, add vegetables such as corn, cauliflower, and soft cheese. Boil gently until the cheese melts. The dish will become attractive with a unique flavor, combining tradition and modernity. Fragrant, fatty chicken with a sweetness from cardamom that melts in the mouth, bringing an unforgettable culinary experience to diners. The grilled whole chicken dish at Young Dung Po is characterized by the delicate aroma of oak wood blended with the flavors of sticky rice and herbs. The chicken is grilled until golden brown on the outside, but remains wonderfully tender and juicy on the inside. You can enjoy the chicken with a spicy wasabi dipping sauce creating an explosion of flavor. Not only is it simply a delicious dish, but grilled oak chicken also provides a rich source of protein for the body. Besides, sticky rice and herbs also help you have a filling and healthy meal. This is an attractive, nutritious dish that you can enjoy while experiencing Korean culture. At the factory operations start from the handling and selection of chickens, ensuring only high quality products are used for processing. Subsequent processing is carried out according to strict hygiene and safety standards to ensure product freshness and safety. type of chicken used to prepare Ja Pricha grilled chicken is a whole chicken. So after removing some unnecessary parts, such as feathers, internal organs, head, neck and legs, they will be cleaned, then preserve, then package and take to the grilled chicken restaurant. And here is how to prepare this unique Ja Pricha grilled chicken dish. Do you wonder why chicken has a fresh flavor when you enjoy it? Because before processing, they are thoroughly cleaned with salt water to remove the inherent odor and fishy smell. Then let the chicken drain to prepare for the next step. Meanwhile, prepare the spice mixture including minced garlic, minced herbs and ground pepper. Mix it all together and you will get a complete spice mixture.
At this time, we will put a sufficient amount of spices inside the chicken belly and then fix that belly so that during grilling, the spices do not fall out and can penetrate evenly into the chicken meat. Before grilling cold the chicken skin with a layer of soya sauce to create a unique colour for the dish. Grilling chicken on charcoal stove will make their flavour more unique. Note, while grilling you need to turn both sides so that the chicken is cooked evenly. After about 45 to 60 minutes of baking, the chicken has a characteristic golden brown color and an attractive aroma that can be enjoyed. Do not grill too long as it will cause the chicken to dry out and affect the quality of the dish. Jar Precha grilled chicken is soft, fragrant with spices, served with a signature sauce from the store that has completely conquered diners right from the first time they enjoy it. It's not too difficult to prepare the dish and you can do it too. Don't hesitate to try it out. It will be very interesting. Beijing's best roast duck shops sell 3,600 ducks every day. A set of roasted ducks is hung up before and after roasting. Can you believe it when 3,600 ducks are sold in a day at a roast duck shop in Beijing? What is different about this dish compared to regular roasted duck dishes that make it so popular? As a famous dish of Beijing, Many tourists come here from far away just to enjoy this dish. Without further ado, let's see how Peking Roast Duck is created. Ingredients the duck used to prepare Peking duck originates from Nanjing. Newborn ducklings are raised in a free-range environment for the first 45 days of life and force-fed in the next 15 to 20 days, resulting in ducks weighing 5 to 7 kilograms before being released. Before being supplied to processing facilities, ducks are transported to factories for processing. From an original duck, fresh duck meat will be processed and processed to bring to the market as well to supply processing facilities. The processing line at the factory will remove duck feathers and internal organs and then clean them to remove impurities. 
ducks supplied to processing factories will be left whole. Ducks brought to the market to serve consumers can also be left whole. Normally, the processing factory will divide the duck into small parts and then package and transport them to consumers to enhance the convenience of the duck. After receiving ducks from the processing plant, the processing facility will conduct preliminary processing of the ducks, check and completely remove the feathers on the skin as well as the fat in the duck's belly, rinse thoroughly with water then use an air pump to inflate the duck from the inside. The duck skin is inflated quickly. This step will help the duck skin when grilled to achieve the dish's characteristic crispiness. Next. Cover the duck with hot water to create volume as well as firmness and shine for the duck skin. Mix a mixture of water and vinegar and pour it over the duck that has been exposed to hot water. Dressing will contribute to making the duck have a characteristic brown color that looks very beautiful and extremely attractive when cooked. After that, take the duck to dry before grilling. Fat ducks with smooth, shiny skin are hung in rows on racks to dry. Not only attractive because of its flavor, the unique way of processing is also one of the things that create the brand of Peking duck. When the duck is completely dry, put it in the oven for a standard time until it has the characteristic golden color and it's done. These are oval-shaped ovens with charcoal burning underneath to create heat. With this way of grilling, the duck will become more fragrant than the usual grilling method. While waiting for the duck to cook, we will make the crust to eat with the duck after roasting. First, put the flour into the mixer, slowly add a sufficient amount of water, and mix until the dough is completely mixed. Pour the mixture onto the table and continue kneading. Then, divide the dough into certain parts and shape the crust. Put the shaped dough into the machine and press it until it's very thin. Bake the dough until both sides are cooked evenly. Side dishes such as green onions and mouse milk are also prepared quickly. Wash the green onions and cucumbers. As for the green onions, only take the roots and then cut them into strips. The cucumbers are also cut into bite-sized pieces. How to enjoy Once the ingredients are prepared, the duck meat will have a crispy skin when cooked and the duck meat will be succulent, soft, and retain the typical flavor of the duck. Peking duck is enjoyed in a completely different way from regular duck dishes. Diners will be able to directly observe the chefs preparing the duck after roasting. First, separate the duck skin, then the duck breast meat. The meat will be cut into bite-sized pieces and then placed on a plate. Continue doing so until all the meat is separated from the duck bones. The bones will be chopped and processed into other dishes at the request of diners, such as duck bone soup, spicy stir-fried duck bones, or roasted duck with garlic salt. Diners will use the crust and add a piece of roasted duck, a little onion, cucumber, and sauce, then roll it up and enjoy. The sweet, melt-in-your-mouth duck meat with a gentle aroma is truly wonderful.
Nutritional value. Not only is it a delicious dish, Peking duck also brings great benefits to our health. Eating duck meat has a good effect in supporting the treatment of cardiovascular diseases, supporting the treatment of tuberculosis and cancer, under radiotherapy and chemotherapy, Use useful for physically weak people and pregnant women lacking milk. However, it should be noted that because duck meat has cold properties and a yin-boosting effect, people whose colds have not completely recovered should not be eaten temporarily. Especially, do not eat duck meat when the wood ear mushrooms, turtle meat, or black turtle meat. Because duck meat cooked with wood ear mushrooms is cold, eating is not good for the digestive tract. While many people think that Taiwanese cuisine is a combination of Chinese and Hong Kong cuisine, the reality is completely different. Taiwanese cuisine is a skillful combination of the sophistication of Japanese cuisine and the modern flavors of Europe, creating a unique and distinct culinary culture that's easy for diners to fall in love with. Here in Taiwan, it's not Peking roast duck but the traditional caramel duck that is truly everyone's favorite national dish. To see for yourself, please watch the entire video along with us today. Unlike Peking roast duck, instead of being marinated with spices and then grilled, caramel duck is cooked in a special caramel sauce, giving the dish a rich sweet flavor combined with the characteristic aroma of duck meat and many different spices. This combination creates a special, unforgettable, completely unique flavor. Which is why caramel braised duck has become one of the dishes that Taiwanese people love most, even more popular than the traditional favorite Peking duck. Most diners, having experienced it, rated duck meat in Taiwan as more delicious than in other places, perhaps because the ducks here are raised on farms with special care. Farms in Taiwan often have a large area where ducks can move freely, making the duck meat soft, moderately chewy, and delicious to eat. It must be said that the chefs in Taiwan are really very skillful and can prepare many strangely delicious dishes that are both unique and mouth-watering. Therefore, when eaten in Taiwan, no part of the duck meat is wasted. All parts from the skin to the blood are used to make attractive dishes. From boiled and fried to grilled duck dishes, each dish has its own flavor. But no matter how it is prepared, the dish is likely to be truly special. Before being processed, the duck will have to go through preliminary processing stages at the factory. Here, staff will clean before processing. Some parts such as fur and internal organs will be completely removed, along with their heads, necks and legs. Caramel duck will generally use the whole body of the duck, although in some stores, they only use the two thighs of the duck to prepare the dish. 
After preliminary processing, the duck will be packaged and shipped to the restaurant for preparation. After receiving the raw materials, they'll be cleaned again. Then the preparation process begins by removing the duck's odor so as to not affect the quality of the dish. Next, use a large pot with a sufficient amount of water and add some spices such as soy sauce and sugar and then proceed to prepare the broth. Prepare some green onions, ginger, bay leaves and star anise. Put them in a filter bag and place the bag in the pot of broth. Finally, add the duck and boil and when it's cooked, take it out and completely remove any remaining duck feathers. The sauce will be transferred to smaller pots for preparation. Add the special caramel sauce, which is prepared according to each restaurant's own recipe, along with the duck, into the pot. Then simmer over low heat for about 30 minutes until the duck is cooked evenly and the sauce is condensed. We have now finished preparing the traditional caramel duck dish. Note, while cooking, you need to stir the pot evenly so that the duck meat absorbs the flavor while producing the characteristic brown color of cockroach wings, which is extremely attractive. Not only does it have an eye-catching appearance, the famous Taiwanese street caramel duck dish also conquers diners with its succulent meat, which is both tender and well infused with spices. Not only tasty, duck meat is a source of diverse and important nutrients for health. It is rich in protein, vitamins and minerals such as iron, magnesium and phosphorus. Duck meat also contains beneficial fats and provides a steady stream of calories. These qualities make it a good eating choice to maintain nutritional balance and health for the body. These golden, shiny, marinated grilled chickens will definitely make many people swoon and want to enjoy them immediately. This is Polo Loco style grilled chicken with a very special marinade recipe, a famous dish in Mexico and the USA. The chicken skin is grilled crispy and slightly charred, but the meat inside is still white and tender, so it is extremely attractive. 
Do you know what the special recipe is to create this dish? Come explore with me in today's video. Polo loco means crazy chicken in Spanish and this dish will really make you crazy because of its great flavor. Originating from the Baya, California region in Mexico, Polo Loco style grilled chicken has become a culinary symbol of this country. This is a famous chicken dish of the El Polo Loco brand, which has hundreds of branches in Mexico and the US. The chicken used to prepare polo loco is the type provided by modern livestock farms, each weighing about 2 to 3 kilograms. To achieve this weight, chickens are raised for about 2.5 to 3 months, which is the time when chickens give the best quality meat. When the chickens meet slaughter standards, they will be taken to the factory for processing. They will have unnecessary parts such as feathers, internal organs and heads removed and be washed with water. After processing, the chicken will be packaged and taken to consumption locations where attractive Polo Loco style grilled chicken dishes will be prepared. To prepare Polo Loco chicken, you must first prepare the main ingredients. When purchased, the chickens have been cleaned. Use a knife or scissors to cut two lines along the chicken's spine and remove this bone. Use a knife to cut the cartilage at the top of the breastbone, turn the chicken over and press firmly on the breast until it forms a flat surface. Place the chicken in a large zip-top bag and continue preparing the marinade. Normally, Polo Loco chicken will use a special spice mixture to marinate the chicken. This marinade recipe includes orange juice, pineapple juice, lemon juice, garlic, pepper, chili powder, turmeric powder, salt and some other spices. Pour the sauce mixture into the chicken bag and close tightly. You should shake well so that the sauce surrounds and penetrates the chicken meat evenly. The ideal time to marinate chicken is for 24 hours, so you can leave the chicken in the refrigerator overnight to marinate. Before grilling, the marinated chicken bags will be removed from the refrigerator and left at room temperature for about 15 to 20 minutes. Polo Loco grilled chicken is usually grilled on a charcoal stove, so it is necessary to prepare the stove with an initial temperature of about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the chicken on the grill and apply a layer of marinade to give the chicken skin a more beautiful color.
It will take about two hours for the Polo Loco chicken to be completely cooked. While grilling, pay attention to turning both sides of the chicken evenly and adjusting the temperature so they cook faster without burning. When the chicken is cooked, the outer skin turns the color of a cockroach wing and emits a sweet aroma. That's when they're taken off the grill and are ready to enjoy. The chicken will be cut into eight pieces, including chicken thighs, wings, breasts, and belly. Polo Loco style grilled chicken has a shiny skin and the meat inside is white and tender. This dish is often enjoyed with tacos or rice and salad to enhance the flavor of the dish. Polo Loco grilled chicken has a rich flavor from the marinade and when you eat it, you will taste the slight sweetness from orange juice and pineapple. This is a unique flavor that anyone who tastes it cannot resist. That's why Polo Loco stores have been doing well for many years. Polo Loco style grilled chicken is rich in protein and low in fat, but this dish also contains quite high cholesterol. Therefore, even though this is a delicious dish, you should only enjoy it within a certain limit for good health. Today's video ends here. What do you think about today's topic? Please leave a comment in the section below to let us know. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss the latest videos. But for now, goodbye and see you again in the next videos.